Today, the Indianapolis Colts defeated the New York Jets in the AFC Championship game, reserving the Colts a place in Miami at Super Bowl 44, the place where the Colts have won all of their Super Bowls. Peyton Manning and the good guys will be facing his father's old team, the New Orleans Saints. Today, Manning completed 26 of 39 passes for 377 yards and three touchdowns with no interceptions against the NFL's number one defense. He brought the Colts back from an 11-point deficit, proving why he's the league's only four-time most valuable player. During the process, the Colts outrushed the New York Jets 101 yards to 86. Pierre Garçon set an AFC championship game record with 11 catches for 151 yards and a touchdown. Austin Colley caught seven passes for 123 yards and a touchdown. Garçon is a second-year player who caught four passes last season, while Colley is a rookie who had never had a 100-yard game until Sunday, when he had 105 in the first half. Reggie Wayne's presence made this possible, along with Dallas Clark showing his force at tight end. While the Colts' offense was in overdrive, the defense was shutting the Jets down. New York went scoreless over the final 32 minutes, but Mark Sanchez showed he was the Jets' future if they invest in more receivers. But today, I am here to talk about my breakfast casserole. First, we start with hot oil in an iron skillet, and then add shredded potatoes and onions. Then our first layer of shredded cheese, which is followed by leafy spinach. Then comes some chopped ham, along with a dozen eggs scrambled. Next, the final layer of cheese, along with some chopped bacon and then you finish it in the oven at about 350 degrees and pull out when the cheese browns. Cut like pizza and serve with some toast and you should serve about 10. It is super.